obviously, but Terrell for you and some of the younger guys that didn't happen before. Can you talk about can you talk about having the stuff kind of thrown at you that you had thrown at you? No, I don't know. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just thankful to be here because uh, you know it goes back to three or four years ago when he all started for me here. And uh, two years ago, we won 10 games still to be in this position. I'm just excited. But, you know, playing through adversity and, you know, uh, after everything that's happened to me, I just, like I said, I'm just blessed. They obviously made a big adjustment in game two with how they were going to guard us and, and the physicality of the series moving forward. And, um, you know, from that from that game on, we we adjusted and we um, we we played really well. So I think, you know, especially fantastic with just how how he controlled the pace and and didn't allow the the way they were pressuring him and, and being physical with him to get to him. You're probably, I doubt it'll work. <laughs> yeah, I'll just yell loudly. Um, oh, okay, no. Joel, what was it like playing your first game in front of the home crowd, and what were some of the emotions that you were feeling during it? It was great. Uh, you know, I've been waiting for this moment, and uh, kind of promised the city this, uh, you know, making the playoffs. So, uh, <laughs> to, uh, for my first game here, uh, you know, I was just excited and uh, uh, worked hard for this, and I'm glad we got the win. Coach said that this was like a, a snapshot, right? Fuck it. Coach said this was like a snapshot for you, for you guys to kind of move on in the playoffs and the, and the physicality. Uh, are, are there some physical lessons you can learn from this series and continue to take and apply to the next series? Thanks, bud. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs> Seems like it worked. Yeah, it works. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think that um, moving forward, the, the playoffs get more physical and, and more intense and. Uh, you know, whoever our opponent is in the next round, whether it's Boston or Milwaukee, it'll be a lot more of the same. Um, you know, there's an adjustment in terms of execution. There's an adjustment in terms of taking care of the ball. And at times, we, we handled it well. But as Coach probably said to you guys, we feel like we ha we still have a lot of room for growth in those areas. And um, and if we do that, then then I think we'll be we'll be you know in a good place and, and have a chance to win. Joel, JJ, to your uh, to your left. Joel, after practice yesterday, you talked about. People are saying this team has a bright future and looking ahead. You said you think their our time is right now. Could you talk a little, a little bit more about that? I'm curious JJ's reaction to what you said. You know, just uh, looking at every, uh, like everybody else and looking at, at ourselves, like you said, we have a lot of room uh, to grow. And uh, uh, man, I just, I just see an opportunity uh, because I think we have a special. Uh, we have a special team. Uh, you know, we got a lot of talent, and they're all good guys. Uh, we love each other. We love playing with each other. So I feel like, I mean, when we play the way we want to play, and that's sharing the ball, uh, be the best uh, defensive team in the league. We feel like we're unstoppable. We can get uh, whatever we want to. So, I mean, that's the goal, and uh, you know, we're gonna do everything to get there. It's a question for both you guys. When you when Ben got undercut early in the game and then sort of landed and then popped back up, did that, that fire you guys up in terms of the, you know, just how the rest of the game played out? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just a continuation <clears throat> of um, how most of the series has been played um, from, from really game two on. Um, so I don't, I don't know that that was necessarily got us fired up, but um, you know, it certainly was a reminder early on that, that this game was going to be similar in terms of physicality as the, as the rest of the series. I know we keep using that that word, but um, it's it's really a good description of, of, of this series. I mean, we we have shot we shot terrible basically for four games. Tonight we were seven for twenty eight from three in a closeout game and won by double figures. Like this was this was a physical series at times. You know, it wasn't the prettiest in terms of, of shooting the basketball, but I think the, the competitive nature of this series was was really good to watch. Um, Joella, I kind of over here. 
Um, I kind of have a similar type of question. I mean, it seemed like you got hit in the face mask at, at one point. I mean, is that just kind of a reminder of like how physical the playoffs can be, and, and how were you guys kind of able to keep your poise, you know, through all that as well? Uh, that's my first time here after talking to a couple guys in the league. Uh, that's what uh, I learned basically. Uh, uh, they told me that it's just different, that it was going for. Um, I'm really physical myself. I like contact. I like playing through contact. So uh, I feel like I thrive in that type of situation, so uh, that type of setting. Um, but you know, every like you say, every every game is gonna be physical. Next round is gonna be the team that we play. They're gonna be physical. So you just uh, we just gotta stake uh, with what we've been doing the whole year, and uh, we're gonna be fine. Uh, JJ, um, at the All Star break, this, this team was the worst fourth quarter team in the league. Um, in this series, second half, you guys were you know killed them in the second half. What can you say about how this team has learned to close games? I think it's part of the maturation process and the learning process for um, number one, a younger group, and number two, you know, a group that is is really playing together for the first time. Um, a lot of our high minutes guys, like this, is the first time we've all sort of played together. You know, I don't think that this is just something we started doing this series. You know, if you look back um, at our winning streak, there were a lot of games that were close at halftime. And our third and fourth quarters, especially defensively, um, were just terrific. And, and that's, that's what allowed us to, to have that winning streak. So this is something that we've been doing now for a while. Um, but it certainly took time. And I know earlier in the year we, we had blown a few you know double digit leads in the second half and it's something that we were coached on and, and we worked through as a group um, so a lot of credit goes to Brett and his staff for that Two more I, I don't like when you go it's so fucking weird <laughs> so Joel I saw that you, uh, you kind of bear hugged Dwayne Wade at the end after the game what did you get what did he say to you did he have any good advice uh, he just told me to keep walking uh, that um, I had a um, bright future, um, and then uh, you know I just had to kind of pay my respect because um, I, I wasn't sure if this was his last year or if he's got one more. So I was just trying to you know thank him for what he's done for the game, and uh, you know he's, he has done an amazing job, and he's gonna be all famous. So uh, that was basically what the conversation was about. Last one, uh, guys. I just want to ask you how you uh, cheer. Right. <laughs> so, actually, how you guys are able to avoid like complacency through this run? I mean, through the winning streak, and then in this series being up, not letting anything slip. How have you guys just maintain your composure and your calm through all that? <laughs> You've been. I mean, out yeah, I mean, I've been. Nah, I've, I've been, I was off. Um, <laughs> well, I, there's not much that we can be complacent about. Um, there. This group won 10 games two years ago, 28 games last year. You know, we were 25 and 25 um, with five games to go before the All-Star break. So this is new to us as a group. Um, and I think the interesting thing that has happened <clears throat> is we've changed our goals now like four times. <laughs> you know, it was, it was make the playoffs. And then it was, uh, maybe, maybe we can win 50 games. And then it was home court, and then it was third seed. You know, I think I remember talking to a couple of people in our front office about maybe getting a first round victory. And obviously none of us now, we don't feel any sense of complacency. We're not satisfied. Like, you know, this group is, is still hungry. We, 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 what's more? You know, we want more. So um, that's just the nature of our, of our group. And I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, just, a lot of us have never never done this before. Thanks everyone. Dwayne Wade's next.